Hello, good friends. It's the Twy Keen, and welcome to a uh, pretty obscure but pretty special challenge project for the channel. This is going to be the Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity Efficiency Challenge. What this challenge is basically going to be, I'm just going to point out just a couple things about it, and then I'll get really deep into it once we really get into the project a lot deeper. It's going to involve trying to collect Korok seeds and treasure chests from the chapter missions, as well as some of the uh, challenge missions in one go, and to do as little grinding as possible to get everything cleared for a 100% run. Hopefully we can do this in a uh, very short amount of time, but let's just see how it really goes. To make this a uh, challenge, to make it very um, short-handed to obtain, we're going to set it to easy. Anyways, I will see you guys after the opening cutscenes have commenced. A Tale of the Champions A diminutive guardian who traveled backwards through time And the great calamity they faced Listen well, soldiers of Hyrule. In our long history, we have scarcely faced a threat of this magnitude. The years have passed quickly since Calamity gathered her finest from the south. Yet. 
Yes, we have unearthed the divine beasts and filled volumes with our knowledge of ancient relics. But a barricade of books would not protect us. This way surges a hole like we have never faced before. Even now, the enemy is clawing for our throat. For Hyrule Castle itself. We must exterminate the monsters roaming Hyrule fields. Thus, we'll begin our renewed effort to stop the calamity. Here, now, go forth and be brave for your kingdom! Fire those cannons now. Bless those monsters off the plane. We are off and running here. Time to knock off some goblins and especially moblins and many other enemies along the way. But at least this is a good series of exercises to go through. <laughs> right now we're just going to focus on getting as many goblins killed off as possible so that we can get their own trophies. They're going to be used for various upgrades and such. Or even unlockings. Got him now! Fire! Seems we have purged the horde from the castle. Well fought all. Yep, very well fought. <laughs> it was uh, like a steen operation for them. We mustn't falter. Hold strong. Yeah, some still have uh, invaded this land here. <laughs> they want me to demonstrate unique action. <laughs> During a strong attack, <laughs> hold and release X to add an extra attack to your combo. <laughs> Good to know. I'll save the special attack for when I get across to this moblin here. Let me get some more of these Bacoblins hit off here. Use healing item with L and B, but can't even heal myself when I'm already at full health. <laughs> As a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and um, get some more of these Bacoblins killed off so that I can level myself up. <laughs> Here's some more. I actually got hit, but just leveled up in time for another heart. <laughs> Alrighty, let's head on over to that Moblin right there. Jeez, you pretty much hit your own the Coblins there, but I'll give you this. Alrighty, not bad. Got a uh, broadsword, which I'm probably not going to be using as much. Anyways, I'm going to head up on over here to collect the first of five treasure chests in this level here. First one is way back here. Contains five topaz. That might be useful for the many unlocks and upgrades coming up. Now time to capture some outposts. Maybe even knock down a few trees for some wood. That's also a handy item. Defeat enemies in an outpost to repost reduce the outpost gauge. See how it's already being reduced this quickly, especially when there's that big of a group of goblins in there. But when there's less in there, it's hard to really drain the gauge. There's the big guy. Attack when the weak point gauge appears. Well, it'll appear if I can pull off the flurry attack, if he'll let me do it. Mm. Yeah, dodging at the last moment is a uh, somewhat a frame-perfect move. He just wasn't being beneficial to me right there. And anyways, we have our first Korok Seed within this crate here. That is the first of seven. Gather a bunch of them and surely something will happen. Yeah, you're right about that. 
Mm, don't need those apples. Alrighty, now there should be another treasure chest coming up before we hit the uh, first outpost straight ahead. Oops. Yeah, the movement around here with the uh, slow frame rate or steady start. No, no. Stuttering flame frame rate can be very <laughs> weird to control. Alrighty. There's the big guy. Hmm. Doesn't want me to knock him down all the way yet. <laughs> There we go. Anyways, that was already clear. Okay, now around this way should be Korok number two. Oh, just as I was about to talk to him, we got a cutscene here, so let's wait a bit. Uh, yep, Impa, that was indeed a tower. What did you think it was? <laughs> I really would like to know. Anyways, now I can go back to <laughs> this Korok right here. <laughs> it's too bad that cutscene had to trigger just as I was um, in the middle of trying to get that Korok activated. Anyways, the next Korok won't be for a little while, but let's grab uh, some valuable stuff here which includes some rupees. Oh, they want me to demonstrate remote bombs. And a little cryonis. If it, oh, that's right, it needs to ref refuel. That's better. That's how to demonstrate Cryonis. I think we got everything else taken care of there. At least we're getting a lot more Bacoblins killed off. Now that particular treasure chest isn't really part of the uh, collection mission, but it it definitely could have some value to it. Okay, we should be coming up on the uh, third treasure chest out of five. So fire at this uh, TNT type barrel to get many of those. the compliments. Oh. Oh. He still had it fired on him. Nice.
That guy is down. As well as some treasure chests he left behind. Oop. Alrighty, there's the third treasure chest out of five. Uh, get out of here, you. Dumb Bacolin, just hurting that soldier for no reason. Oh. <laughs> Throwing their clubs at me. <laughs> of course they would. Eh, my arrows didn't reach that. That's better. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, get out of the way of their clubs. Alrighty, here comes the second outpost to capture. Let's just go ahead and use this. Stabbed me with that. <laughs> oh, Cryonis. Oh, he'll ram himself into it. <laughs> so that I could further deplete his gauge. Nice. Alrighty. Did we get everything else there. A fire whiz rope has appeared. Oh, way up there. We can now play as Impa. Okay. Well, at least this would be a good time to uh, go ahead and switch on over to her. If it'll let me. There we go. Before I uh, let her take care of that fire with rope, I'm going to guide Link to... What's that area? This one over here because there's a Korok seed right about there. Now we'll give uh, Impa some action. And she clones herself into a couple more for extra hits. <laughs> Say, not many other characters have this kind of ability, which is great. Oh. Alrighty. Yep, getting rid of that fire with robe has allowed me to achieve the fire rod. Press L and Y to activate it, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, now that um, Link is in position to get the Korok seed. That is number three out of seven. And... We'll guide uh, Impa to this area for a treasure chest. And we'll have Link destroy some enemies and capture the last outpost while we wait for Impa to get over there. That's one of the biggest advantages of playing this kind of game with partner characters. Let them run over to something while you yourself play as one character <laughs> to get other jobs taken care of. Alrighty, here's the fourth Korok Seed. We'll head back this way now and head for the uh, last outpost to capture. Which contains a lot of Lizophos. We're gonna need trophies of them as we go along. Link levels up again. After I get this outpost captured, I'll go ahead and control Impa again. And let her get some more things. How many uh, Lithophos are spawning here, which is kind of annoying. 
kind of delaying my uh, time needed to get this matter taken care of. Ooh. Yeah, let him run into the Cryonis. Like, this soldier better get out of my way or else uh, he's, Link is going to stab him pretty badly there. Okay. Um, yeah, with the map being this small, it's really hard to see which way to go. So I had to really zoom in on it for pathways I need to take. You know what? Let me switch back over to Impa and guide Link to right here. Okay. Now that treasure chest. Yep, right here. There's also a uh, Korok seed in the middle right here, which is basically Lon Lon Ranch. Here it is in this windmill-esque balloon. That's five out of seven. Let's see. Uh, next one Impa should get is over here. I'll let her do it for right now before I switch back to Link. Um, yeah, the map being this small doesn't really help as much. <laughs> I know I can get around this. <laughs> I think it might be, uh... Yeah, this is an outpost, but, uh... There it is! Okay, now I just thought of something else. Let's have, um... Let's switch back over to Link and have him capture this outpost. Have Impa come down here. So while Impa does that, we'll have Link take care of everything here. There's the big Lizafo. Alrighty. Got all outposts captured at least. Alright, switch back over here. Now the, uh... Where is... Oh, there it is. Uh, man, the hitbox to activate it is very, very small. But at least it's taken care of. Alrighty, we got all the Koroks. Now, I'll have Link head on down to where those three Moblins are. And have Impa come down this way for the last treasure chest. But yeah, we definitely got everything else we needed. There's another Fire Wiz robe. I don't think we really need to uh, kill it off, though. <laughs> but it could be worth it for a uh, trophy, though. Yeah, give him the bomb. Nice. Didn't really need those fire refills, but at least we got something taken care of out of it. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Collapsing that big deck right there. <laughs> That's pretty epic. What does this chest have? 
some herbs. Alright, switch back over to Impa, because there is the last treasure chest. Let's go ahead and switch back to Link, and he'll take care of the last part of this. Oh, still got him. Even though I was slightly late on it. Alright, that guy's taken care of. Now, where's the other Moblin? I kind of want him to come around here so I can use the special attack on both of these moblins at once. Ooh, at least I got the flurry rush right there. Okay. Well, with only one moblin left, let's just go ahead and use it now. It, it, wow, that was rude. Using one of your own <laughs> teammates on me like that. <laughs> I don't need the weak point smash. He's done. Alrighty. You fought well and victory is your reward. Savor it. That young knight served his kingdom well. Perhaps an official appointment is in order. Okay. Not too bad. Lots of collectibles already. And yep, got 7 out of 7 Korok seeds. And 788 Bacoblin trophies, those will really come in handy. 85 Lizalfos, that's also a pretty good start. Guardian and a mysterious tower. I hate to say it, but we have little hope of figuring this out on our own. Hey, what are you? No, stop right there. <laughs> Each of you has served your kingdom admirably. Huh. You made it! I'm glad you're safe, Impa. Yes, dear highness. And I've received the Sheikah slate from Pora. Oh! The Sheikah Slate conveyed the little guardian's purpose. This anomalous visitor had traveled from a future of ruin. A time in the midst of the calamity. To save Princess Zelda. Impa proposed recruiting Pura and Robbie, renowned researchers of ancient technology, to study the guardian and investigate the mysterious tower that had appeared on Hyrule Field. King Rome of Hyrule gave his assent. An order for Link the Hylian Knight. You must guard the mysterious tower that has appeared. I'm told it may be important. 
As for this time-hopping guardian, is it truly deserving of our trust? You must discern this beyond any doubt with the aid of the researchers. May the goddess Hylia watch over you always. Rome Bosphorus Hyrule. Link the Silent Knight, a swords, skilled swordsman serving the royal family of Hyrule. Born to a line of imperial guards, he is renowned for his fighting skills and courage. Impa, the royal advisor and loyal friend, the, sh the advisor to Hyrule's royal family and a revered member of the Sheikah tribe. She is dedicated to her work and known for being steadfast and diligent. She can be distractible at times. Map of Hyrule. Use the Sheikah Slate to choose a destination, tackle problems across Hyrule, and level up your characters. Okay. I'm about to end this episode off here, but before I do, I may should explain a few of the things um, shown on here. You'll see that there are things necessary for upgrade purposes or for unlockings. This right here is the next mission to conquer. These little character icon things are the upgrade things. I am going to try to use the ones that involve like um, heart upgrades or um, weapon upgrades. Um, I'm going to try to uh, use those as little as possible, especially when they require this many Pacoblin trophies. As you can see, I already got 788, but uh, 100 is needed to get Impas unlocked. So I'm probably going to hold off on hers for a little bit so that I can build up more of these trophies. As you can see, Link needs 150, so I already need 250 Bacoblins destroyed, and good thing I already have more than three times that already beaten up. And enough Bacoblin horns and other body parts of the Bacoblin to go with it for the others. I'm probably going to get uh, just this one upgraded for now, because all that's really needed is just one of those kinds of materials, and I got way more than what's needed for them already, so we'll go ahead and use that. The recipe for steamed meat, where I can increase my attack damage on enemies by 5%. <laughs> and just doing that is a completed quest. Work together with denizens across kingdom to grow stronger and fight against the calamity. And getting that taken care of unlocks this one. And of course I don't have enough of any of those unlocked so it's going to take a while before I can get that but let's just hope I don't have to do too much grinding for it by going back to some chapter missions or even the um, challenges that are just very quick side ones. I will though, however, use this for Link because I will be using him quite a lot in this playthrough. He'll have a uh, bonus combo here with just the extra Y button. Like I said, I'm gonna hold off on Impus for a bit because I do need to unlock some of Link's. This right here, we just need 15 more Lithophos, but I'm pretty sure we can get it in the uh, next chapter mission. Um, as far as everything else we can do on here, that will just have to wait till the uh, next episode, so I'll just end it off right here. I hope you enjoyed this edition of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. This is the efficient challenge where I try to do things as little as possible, try not to go back to some things as much, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how little I can do here. Alrighty, guys. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day. So long.